Hello, hello, hello. Today is Tuesday, December 6, 2022. It's 12 noon for me. Probably not for you, depending upon where you live. Clearly, problem 159 was way too difficult. Only two and a half people got it right. So, what I will do today, do a very easy one. 58 was too difficult. 159 is probably too easy. But that's good for your ego. So all high school students should be able to do this. Certainly when I was in high school, without any doubt, I could do this. Problem 159. In the diagram below, you see the diagram here, the four capacitors have the same capacitance. The battery provides 120 volts. This is the battery, positive side, negative side. Consider now two cases. Starting in both cases with uncharged capacitors. That's very important. Case one. While switch B is kept open, so this one is kept open, switch A is closed. So B remains open. And then A is closed. And then A is opened after C1, C2 and C3 are fully charged. First question, what is now the electric potential difference between each capacitor? Of course, I also want signs, plus and minuses. Second question, subsequently, switch B is closed. What is now the electric potential difference across each capacitor? And when you close B, then it's okay if you want to wait a while, you'll have to make that judgment for yourself. So I repeat case one, question A, while switch B is open, switch A is closed and then opened after C1 and C2 and C3 are fully charged. So A is then open. What now is the electric potential difference across each capacitor? And I want the signs to be correct. Now, subsequently, Switch B is closed. What is now the electric potential across each capacitor? Again, we want sign sensitivity. Now comes case two. Third question. And remember, when we start with case two, all capacitors are not charged. A is open. Now we first close switch B. What now is the potential difference across each capacitor, including signs? And the last question, subsequently, switch A is also closed. So now B and A are both closed. What now is the potential difference across each capacitor? High school students, Without question. Uh, if this were on JEE main exam, you would be lucky. <laughs> it will never be on JEE advanced exam because it's way too easy for that. All right. So, given the fact that there were only two and a half correct solutions on problem 158, I would like to see more than 100 correct solutions on this problem 
which is problem 159. If you cannot do this problem, it's about time that you take some simple fixed courses in high school. It's never too late and we'll be friends even if you do not want to take any physics course. But I have so many friends who know no physics at all. My wife is my closest friend. She doesn't know any physics at all. She has a master's degree in art history. All right, take care and good luck.